welcome back. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, so stay tuned so that you can learn how to get free access to an online learning community that has thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It is so freaking hot in Atlanta. I got this freaking long sleeve shirt on, and as y'all can see, my top is down. I haven't had my top down since like October, but it's 70 freaking degrees, and I'm burning up in this sweater. It feels better when I'm driving, though, because of the wind. But what's up? What's good? This is a what I eat in a day as soon as I get gas. I was gonna make breakfast this morning, but I was really, really short on time because I, y'all see my hair is raggedy. I'm getting my hair done. So I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to go to Starbucks and get a frozen strawberry lemonade that I haven't tried. Um, shout out to Caleb's. <laughs> so I was like, okay, look, this is the best time to do that. Treat yourself. Oh. And speaking of treat yourself, yes, treat yourself because I, this is confirmation. I came to y'all and told y'all before, I have noticed when I eat really low calories, I toss and turn all night. It is confirmed. Yesterday, I ate 1,300 calories, not on purpose. But y'all will see the vlog. It's a vlog that's going to go up talking about it. But anyway, I had 1,300 calories around that. And I tossed and turned all night. I cannot be doing that because like, I had a strenuous workout yesterday. And your muscles recuperate when you sleep how if you ain't sleep okay yeah i got like four hours of sleep so i didn't even go to the gym today so like we can't be doing it i don't know what's like the threshold to keep that from happening but when them calories really be low like that it's just it's not gonna work out for me so starbucks it is as soon as i get my gas all right what can we do for you today um can i have the oh uh, do you have the you do have the the southwest veggie wrap is like cheese and stuff right <laughs> it's got potatoes it's got some cheese it's got some eggs in there no you know what i'm gonna do the can i do you have the double smoke um bacon and cheddar yes ma'am can i have that and can you make me a um grande frozen lemonade strawberry frozen lemonade i'm sorry grande what was it strawberry frozen lemonade all right what else can we get in for you today that's it all right we'll have it ready for you so thank you thank you I was gonna get the veggie wrap till I realized it was the same amount of calories as the sandwich with bacon. And why would I deny myself bacon? Just why? I look so busted, y'all, and it's really, really hot. Anyway, I have to go because I don't, I can't just, I would sit and talk with y'all, but I have my camera on the tripod and I really don't got time to be trying to take it off and all that because my I do have a hair appointment. That's why I look like this. <laughs> but here is my sandwich. And um, all of this was like 600 or so calories. Oh, I almost dropped this sandwich in this car. It's full of dog hair. All this was about 600 or so calories. Um, this is the strawberry lemonade frozen. Just say that. I ain't know. I got put on too, y'all. But um, yeah, my camera lens is smudgy. And this is just a mess. So see y'all later. Okay, okay, see, I don't look as bad as I looked earlier because my hair is done. It ain't frizzy. Ooh, I love this color green. This is such an excellent color. Anyway, y'all, y'all know I talk about everything, but what we came to talk about. So, um, I had a protein bar while, while I was under the dryer, and y'all already know what type of protein bar it was. None other than the Built Bar. You guys know I talk about these all the time. Um, so, if you're new here or if you haven't tried them yet, there's still a code down below. You can try Built Bar. There's a code that'll give you 20 percent off in the description box you guys need to try them because if you go back to my other videos in which i mentioned these there are snowflakes in the comments telling you how good they are and they're so glad that they got 20 percent off so um i already had my built bar so I can't eat this one but um i'm just showing you guys because i didn't get to show you because i was under the dryer so built bar tastes like a candy bar it has a texture of a candy bar it's made with dark chocolate that's the only caveat because some people may not like dark chocolate, but there are tons of flavors. Pick your flavor. Texture, candy bar, gooey, melty, nougaty. You know what? I've never tried these warmed up and now I kind of want to because I know you can put protein bars in the oven for a little minute, get it real warm. But this is candy bar texture. Because I had those 1300 calories yesterday, usually y'all know how I be like, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. Oh, okay, yeah, she's hungry. So she's about to edit a video for y'all. She's about to eat some smoked oysters. And I don't like these anymore because I like my oysters from Whole Foods, I found out, and Trader Joe's. Now, the only reason I prefer the Whole Food oysters over Trader Joe's is because the Whole Food oysters, they have size selection. So like these just say smoked oysters. The Trader Joe's, oh, and this is in sunflower oil. 
The Trader Joe's oysters are in olive oil, which y'all know I prefer, but they're they're small. When you go to Whole Foods, they have a large, I think they may have extra large, medium, and small. I think I got the large ones last time. Anyway, I enjoyed them being a uniform size and being larger than being smaller. So I won't be buying my oysters from Kroger anymore, but this is the only pack I had left and I will re-up from Whole Foods really, really quick. So I'm gonna eat that. That's 180 grams of calories and 18 grams of protein. What's up? And since I don't have any more of my mango crisp from Trader Joe's, I'm gonna be eating some whole wheat things. And I haven't had these in so long, but anyway, um, nutrient facts. 140 calories for 16 pieces. I don't need 16 pieces. Um, probably about 10. Because that I'm just going to eat them, you know, per oyster. And it does have a little bit of protein. So let's log it all in. So you guys, this pack of oyster and the crackers came up to be a little bit over 300 calories. Y'all see it's on my wire because instead of counting the crackers, I just weighed it. Look, if you eat oysters, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys for dinner. So as we are waiting for dinner, y'all. That four hours of sleep is really catching up to me. Anyway, I decided that now is the perfect time that we should have a word from our sponsorship that I mentioned earlier. Now, I have told you guys about Skillshare before. If you are new and you missed it, Skillshare is basically an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives, entrepreneurs, or anybody who just wants to learn something on a random topic or something that they're really interested in. It doesn't have to be random like me. You basically just have this whole playground so that you can explore new skills, pick up on new passions, find out what you like, find out what you're interested in, learning something new or just going deeper into something you already de delved into. So I told myself I was not gonna order any more protein bars, but because I had found my built bars and I also really like the Gatorade protein bars and I've had bad luck with other protein bars. But here we are with a huge box of protein bars that was $40. <sighs> and they aren't that great. They're not better than built bar. They aren't disgusting, but the nutrition facts. So going back to Skillshare, when I tell you guys they have a class for everything, there's literally this class that I was just looking at that talks about how to read a nutrition label so that you can make healthier food choices, which we've talked about on this channel plenty of times. So in case you guys do want to check out the class, it is by Margaret Joyner. I'll have it here on the screen. And of course, you're going to need access to Skillshare to view it. But don't worry, because in the description box, there will be a link so that the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link will get a free trial of a premium membership to Skillshare so that they can explore this class and many others. So again, there's a link free trial just for you if you want to check out the class or any other that I'm discussing. But anyway, so the Built Bar Protein Bar is 160 calories, give or take. The Lust Protein Bar is 235. The Built Protein Bar has 19 grams of calories and the Lust Bar that I'm talking about here has only 18, which is insignificant, but the calories though. And it's not that great. Reading nutritional labels is just something that you're going to have to do if you're trying to make changes to your body, lose weight, even gain weight, or if you just wanna make healthier eating decisions. So that Skillshare class is very, very interesting and it can help a lot of people if you're not familiar with what you should be looking for. Also with Skillshare, there aren't any ads at all and they're always launching new classes for you to try out and take a look at. It's also less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So again, go ahead and try it out free on me. You're welcome. And let's get ready for dinner. Hey guys, I'm so sorry you guys didn't get a food montage or nothing. I just kind of like threw them at y'all like, hey, what's up? I, when I tell y'all I'm about to like fall out, like I told y'all, four hours of sleep, not, yeah, the TV loud, I know I could, like, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but I had to show y'all my dinner. So I will say, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, y'all know I keep it 100. I didn't measure none of these cause I was super tired. This is why they say to meal prep. Cause if I had meal prep, I wouldn't have to, it would already be accounted for, it would have been ready and that's the benefit. But since I didn't meal prep, since I didn't count, I tried to just do the best that I can. So this is basically like a little um, taco bowl. I wanted to use rice, but I did not cause I didn't want to track it. That's a high calorie food. So I just used the better lettuce, some black beans for protein. This is ground turkey and some corn. And I'm gonna put some pico on it and call it a day. So you just wanna kinda use common sense. If you're not gonna measure, we know that one grain of rice is 500 calories, so we just not gonna mess with it. <laughs> 
But I'm so sorry that I just didn't do it how I usually do, but I'm seriously tired, you guys. I know y'all understand. If you're still here, leave me a sleepy emoji because that's what's going on. Check out other videos for me here on the screen. Do not forget to check out the description box for your free link to a Skillshare membership. And I'll see you guys in my next video.